What can I uh, start with you? Well, um, I was hoping to get a loan mm -hmm. for a new restaurant I wanted to open. Hopefully, it will become a chain before long. Wow, big, big thought. We are a submarine sandwich shop, and we've got a bit of an interesting take. We toast our subs. Oh, okay. I, no, 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 no. We will become no, so no. big that other restaurants will be forced to incorporate toasting technology into their business plans as well. And when that happens, we'll slowly fold. What? I don't want you to know another thing is I don't want you, I'm giving you the money so you make money. We'll make money for a bit. And but no, but that's, that, that's the antithesis of what we want for, from us I'm sorry, you don't want to make lots and lots of money over the next 15 to 20 years? I do. And then I want to keep the money. Okay, well, that's where our paths diverge. <laughs> because I promise to make you and me money, money, money okay. for 15 to 20 years. We're going to be right on the precipice of being the biggest submarine sandwich shop of all time. Yeah. And at that point... We'll slowly fold. <laughs> I don't want you to fold. What if, what if I, if, can we do this without you folding? Customers are going to come in and get not only their sandwich, but one to two to as many as they like free pepperoncinos. Whoa. We'll have a little station where they can serve themselves and we'll hope they stick to one or two, but <laughs> there's no rules. Okay. What if I told you you could squeeze guacamole from a big two? I love guacamole. It's 1985. It's the hottest thing. This restaurant is going to blow the doors off of Denver, Colorado. We are <laughs> going to spread our tentacles throughout America and then, oh yeah, Canada. And then, oh yeah, there's a whole other world out there. And <laughs> we're going to hit them also. Subway's going to feel us nipping on their heels to the point where they're going to have to introduce toasting technology into their subs. And at that point, oh, we fold. <laughs> slowly. Okay. Slowly. Oh. Why can't you just change it into succeeding? I've succeeded before. <laughs> I pitched Mr. Sub. You did. At that time, no one respected a sub. They walked into a submarine sandwich shop and they get, said, give me him, give me her, I don't give a fuck. We forced them to say Mr. <laughs> you didn't even get to know the first names of our subs. And in addition to that, we made sure our floors were filthy. Uh, did you start both Mr. Sub and are going to start Quiznos? Yes. So you are the same owner of both of these potential. It doesn't matter how true that is. <laughs> <laughs> the point is. Okay, well look. If you can do this without slowly folding in 15 to 20 years, you got yourself a deal. No deal. I want to fold. I must fold. Okay, well... I have one plan to introduce toasting technology. And my second plan, free pepperoncinos. <laughs> and if those don't work out, oh, honey, I gotta fold. <laughs> oh, it feels good to be from Denver. That's not our thing. Swish! You're... Alex English! You're not... From, yes, you're lucky you... <laughs> a player at this time. 80s Nugget! Isn't it fucked that Alex English is black? Don't you think that's the most white sounding uh, name for a basketball player of like, all time? Like a British. Every time I see him, I go, that guy's black. Whoa. And I mean that in a bad way. <laughs> oh God, you really are from 1985. Things are different. Time to my collar, check in with my breakfast club, and see you on the flip side, daddy-o. I'm gonna go have sex, no condom, no repercussions. <laughs>